sandwich cake, candy rice with sweet meatballs, ham rolls, and a cheesy bar of ice cream? Check out how easy it is to cook weird and amazing inside-out food in our new video! Redhead wants to master her cooking skills. But she can't figure it out alone. Thank goodness she has a friend who is an expert in cooking science and will always help her out. Professor Baker invented a groundbreaking product. Nothing is known about its side effects because experiments on human beings haven't been conducted yet. Oops! It seems like Redhead became the first test subject. We wonder what's going to happen next. Professor Baker is doing lab tests. Nothing unusual for now. Except the fact that Redhead increased her speed by 10 times. Now she can cook the fastest fast food. Let's check out the result of her cooking race. Take a bun and cut off the top and the edges. Cut out a round hole in the center of the bottom. Add food coloring to soft cream cheese and coat the bun with it. Finely chop celery. Cover it with water and add food coloring. Dry out the colored celery and decorate the bread bagel to look like sprinkles on a donut. Here's the first result of the experiment. The new formula made this bun tasteless. It changed on a molecular level but it still looks the same outside. I wonder what surprises are coming next. Professor Baker gives Redhead an antidote to the serum. This is an ancient Japanese medicine. And Redhead channels her inner cooking ninja. Come on, let's cook sushi rolls. Cut sandwich bread into strips. Coat a slice of ham with wasabi. Put a strip of bread and cheese on it. And spicy carrots. Make a roll. Cut it into pieces. Place the sushi rolls onto a plate with sauce. Redhead sushi rolls turned out so nice. And the ham smells so good. Professor Baker just can't convince Redhead that actual sushi rolls look different. Find 10 differences. But Redhead is 100% sure that her ham dragon sushi rolls are the best. Professor Baker leaves to take a call. The Nobel Prize is on the line. And Redhead doesn't waste any time. Her altered consciousness has already grown an unusual plant. Crumble a sponge cake and add halves of Oreo cookies. Finally mash everything. Put the mass into a flower pot. Add a sprig of mint. And a nameplate. Mint is a very handy product in the kitchen. That's why there isn't a lot of it left. But you can easily eat the soil in the pot with a spoon. What a great plant dessert! Professor Baker is taking counsel from his mentor on the phone. Let's try out a new recipe of liquid seasoning. Add a few drops to a ready chocolate cake. And get an unusual result. A cake and a sandwich? Two in one! Cut squares out of sandwich bread. Coat the slices with cheese sauce and pate. Put sliced sausages onto one slice and put the pieces together layer after layer. Add dark food coloring to the pate and cover the sides of the cake with it. Squeeze out a pattern on top. Professor Baker tastes his high bread. His sandwich cake passes the test. It gets an A+. Redhead finds Professor Baker's stock of test tubes. She bravely drinks one more sweet serum. I wonder how rice with meatballs and vegetables will taste afterwards. Cut marshmallows into small pieces. Break chocolate cereal bars and shape them into meatballs. 
place them onto the marshmallow rice. Roll green fondant to make peas. Cut yellow gummy candies into pieces to be bell pepper. Sprinkle the dish with colored shredded coconut. And some chocolate topping. Put in sweet peas and pepper. Redhead bravely tastes the dish. The sweet serum did better than she expected. These meatballs taste like real candy. And you just want to put this rice into cocoa. It's actually marshmallows. The sweet serum reveals the whole truth about food. Professor Baker is excited. What else can I possibly turn into unusual food? It seems like gummy candies were here. Let's add some tomato serum. Dissolve gelatin in hot water. Add some tomato juice. Pour the mixture into a block-shaped silicone mold. Let it freeze. Take the jelly out when it's ready. Cut it. And cover it with salt. Professor Baker tastes his creation. Well, some experiments' results are upsetting. No way! This jelly tomato experiment isn't worth repeating. And meanwhile, Redhead is investigating the fridge. An interesting ice cream bar turns out to be inside. Let's see! Cut a piece of cheese to be the same shape as an ice cream bar. Insert a stick. And coat the cheese with melted chocolate. Let it harden. Redhead tries out the dessert, but it smells like cheese for some reason. Is this lunch-flavored ice cream? It might be a good idea, but in reality, the cheese ice cream bar isn't tasty at all. Our professor is studying regular chicken nuggets. He definitely won't become a famous scientist with this kind of recipe, but we will change the formula with the help of our yummy solution. Finely mash soft cookies with filling. Add mashed banana. Mix it. And shape nuggets. And coat the sweet nuggets with breadcrumbs. Put them onto a plate with jam as sauce. Professor Baker tastes the upgraded nuggets. Wow! This is so delicious! This recipe deserves an award right now! Everyone should taste it! Plain spaghetti is so boring! Time to add some colors! We use a color vaccine! It worked! Cook spaghetti in boiling salted water. Dissolve different food colorings in a few cups and dip some spaghetti into every cup. Take it out and dry it on a paper towel. Put the colored spaghetti into a bowl. Plain spaghetti turns into a rainbow. Now this food is worthy of our cooking scientist. It's time to stop by the professor's culinary lab and give him his beakers back. But he got so carried away with an experiment, he tests the calorie antidote. Poor muffin! It had to be his guinea pig! Take a burger bun and cut a piece inside of it to fit a paper muffin mold. Add food coloring to soft cream cheese. Stick a piece of broccoli into the bun and coat it with the colored cheese. Put it into the muffin mold. Decorate with nuts. Redhead gets her altered muffin back. The color antidote worked! This broccoli muffin makes you lose a taste for food. Professor Baker knows one more trick. He can turn a regular egg into a sweet dessert. Clean an eggshell out. Cover it with foil. Take the filling out of Oreo cookies. 
Mash it to get an even consistency. Sprinkle the egg mold with cornstarch and put the filling inside. Melt yellow gummy candies in a microwave. Pour the melted candies into two little semi-spheres and let them chill. Shape a yolk when they harden. Dip it in cornstarch. Take the Oreo egg white out of the mold. Put the sweet yolk inside and connect the two halves. Smooth out the seam with a knife. Oh wow! Redhead eats the unusual egg. It's so delicious! A philosophical question arises. What came first, Oreo or egg? Professor knows the answer. Redhead's cooking time is up. Goodbye, baker. The professor gets upset. He needs a new dose of carbs immediately. Instant pizza delivery worked. Baker adds his sweet serum as he usually does. And the pizza turns into a dessert. Finely mashed cookies. Melt toffee candies in a microwave. Put in the mashed cookies. Mix it. Wrap the dough in parchment paper and roll it out. Cut out a circle. Melt the marshmallows in a microwave and add red food coloring to it. Coat the sweet pizza crust with the red marshmallows. Sprinkle it with yellow shredded coconut. Grate some white chocolate on top. Roll out black fondant and cut circles out of it. Make holes inside using a straw. Place the fondant olive rings onto the sweet pizza. Put the pizza into a box. Color the title with acrylic paints and a marker. Professor Baker sadly eats his pizza alone. Having a lonely lunch is so upsetting, but the pizza cheers our professor up little by little. Did you like our weird cooking experiments? Then write in the comments what food you would like to change in a lab. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so that you don't miss new delicious recipes on Troom Troom.